covering thousands of acres across seven counties made it difficult for Indiana farmers, Brad and Todd Stevenson, to not only manage iron, but the critical information their machines were generating. To help alleviate the problem, the brothers invested in a management solution that connects the field to the office. The reason why we implemented Connect the Farm when we switched to, to Agco, we used the Trimble technology. We thought it would benefit us and help us in our control systems. We had a lot of data coming in. Every evening we'd have to get the zip drives and bring them into the office. And well, when you're running multiple pieces of equipment, flying in multiple locations, we can use up quite a bit of product in a short period of time. And you know, if controllers are getting off calibration, we wouldn't know that for three or four days. We're in seven counties currently. You know, we can have somebody here in Hancock County, which is our home county, or three counties away, and the information's still going into the office just as quick as it's being collected. So Office Sync, we uh, use it to get data quicker, to uh, be able to scrub it a lot quicker. If anybody works in data, they know that you gotta scrub it, make sure it's right and accurate. It helps us make quicker decisions on seeding, fertilizer, nitrogen, yield, especially yield coming in to make uh, another prescription map for uh, fall fertilizer. It makes us do that decision making a whole lot quicker. We can do a, a straight prescription, you know, a standard prescription that we would use for like nitrogen or seeding. We can send that to the operator right then. Also, if we need to change a prescription on a farm, we decide to use a different hybrid and we want to lower the population and it's already on a prescription, or if we want to raise the population, or if we want to raise the nitrogen rates, we can just send that straight to the operator, kind of like a job file of a new prescription. So that's beneficial also. For us, I like being able to track the amount of product that's going on the field back to the office. So we have office personnel that can give us updates on a timely basis, being able to watch our inventory being able to check calibrations more accurately and more on time. But Office Sync was just the first step toward making their operation as efficient as possible. They also wanted to be able to share data between machines. I like the vehicle sync part uh, for efficiency wise, being able to run um, two planters, two ammonia bars, whatever it is that we're doing in the same fields if we need to. It gives us advantage like in planning if a rain's coming up and you know we got a couple hundred acres worked and, and we're wanting to try to get that done before the rain, we can jump two planters in the same field and get it done. If one planter goes into a field and plants the inroads first, we'd like to do that, kind of do our boundaries of the field. So the second planter pulls into the field, when that, when that planter's going across the inroads, it'll automatically shut off because it's synced up with the vehicle number one, I'm gonna call it. So that's a benefit, so we're not overlapping, we're not wasting seed. We're not wasting fertilizer, but we run road starter on our planters also. And so for us being spread out like that, that's a big benefit that we're not rained out four counties away, you know, if we're trying to finish something up. I like the vehicle sync. That makes us more efficient. The data transfer, getting that data back to the desktop quicker, so you make quicker decisions. It just makes the whole operation more efficient. You can kind of monitor um, operators also. Uh, if you have a lead operator with a not so much experienced operator, they can kind of watch the other operator, make sure they're, they're applying on the right amount and um, watch their efficiency and see if they're getting across the same amount of acres as the lead operator is. Um, so that's a nice feature also. The farm has also implemented FarmWorks software, which is a key piece of Connected Farm. So the data comes into FarmWorks and then um, uh, we print out the, the data planning reports, fertilizer reports, nitrogen use reports, and then we can use those reports to track inventory. We do everything by field location, so uh, dollars and cents wise, we track it to the field. So that allows us to do that also with the reports. We come out with 1% variance on fertilizer and nitrogen. And it's not just one thing that allows us to get to that 1%, but the tracking of um, and the connect the farm sending information back to the office is a key component of all that. You know, that's huge dollars in an operation for us. That's what we live and breathe off of is our data. Um, that's what makes our operation more efficient, it's makes us strive, makes us uh, more profitable. You know, we've hired a CFO uh, full time because there's just so much data. We got three people in the office. That's the, all they do is process data and give those reports back to us and operations. It just 
helps us manage our business. Anything we can use to help manage our business, that's what we want to do. As their farm operation has grown, so have the challenges of managing the assets spread across many miles. Solutions like Connected Farm can be priceless, especially during the busiest times of the year. Yet their story doesn't end there. The brothers are always on the lookout for cutting edge devices like wearable technology and the potential they hold to link all aspects of their business even further. Google Glass is one of those technologies. There was a public competition that Google held this last February in which they took a new emerging technology in the area of wearable technology. In this case, something that could be worn on your, on your head, and it's a, a small computer. And they basically wanted to see how people would, could, would use it and would imagine different ways to use it. And I entered the competition and was fortunate enough to be selected as one of uh, 8,000 people across the U.S. And basically, we're, uh, we're now traveling around uh, different parts of the country getting real feedback from, from real farmers and people in, in uh, industry and precision ag and, and agronomists and so forth, just seeing how they would, uh, could use it or, or not in their everyday life. Very simply, it's intended to be like a pair of glasses that you could wear all day or for specialized use or specialized jobs. The, the basic concept is this. It's, it's actually a computer. And in this area right here is a small one gigahertz processor like you'd have in your smartphone. Uh, a small bit of storage, in that case it's a 16 gig of storage. Small operating system that's very simplified for a good user interface. In the front there's actually a camera, that's a standard, uh, think of a cell phone, smartphone camera uh, that takes both photos and video. Uh, from there, the part that, the, kind of the secret sauce is that in this area right here there's actually a projector the projection image into the prism and then you see that uh, in, in your eye. I use it for uh, looking over a tractor engine. It'll work too if you you know you have a problem of some sort and just send it to your service guys either in shop here at home or to the field service guy from the dealership. So yeah I could see it being pretty beneficial uh, like if an operator is in a machine using a uh, controller and doesn't remember how to navigate it. I mean he could be looking at it and tell me, all right, I'm here, but I don't know how to get to point B. Walk me through it. So he could be looking at it, and I could just walk him through it real quick. Well, I used them for scouting uh, corn, and uh, my initial reaction is, well, it's cool. I'm, it's great. Uh, we can send video back to the, our agronomist if they're not on location with us, and he can kind of tell us uh, what he thinks the disease is or the insect pressure or how the crop and his opinion looks as I'm seeing it. And um, I just think that's for operation side of scouting is just going to increase our efficiencies. As the Stevensons continue to push the efficiency envelope, being connected, whether it's technology they hold in their hands or wear on their heads, will help this fourth generation farm family stay competitive for generations to come.